Hi and welcome back to the course. In this section we will take a closer look at forms. So there are a couple of things we will learn in this section. First we will start with creating a simple login form. Next we will learn how to work differently with buttons. And after this we will take a close look at using form elements. Last but not least we will be installing and using Bootstrap and I'll show you how it's done. So we start with creating a basic form using Bootstrap and Vue. And what will we cover in this video? First, we will install and configure Bootstrap. Next, we will create a simple login form. Last but not least, we will learn how to bind the view model to the input fields. Alright, so I've created an example login view which we are going to use during this video. As you can see, we've got an input field for the email address and the password. And after this, we have a button to submit the form. And when we click the button, the content of the form will be locked. Alright, but how does the code look like? So, I've installed Bootstrap using Yarn. Yarn is a package manager for node modules, just like NPM. The difference between Yarn and NPM is that Yarn has some trick up its sleeve and it's faster than NPM. So, in order to install the packages, you can run npm install. And notice at the package.json file that I am referencing bootstrap at the dependency section. When the packages are done installing, I require the bootstrap stylesheet in the main.js file at the source directory. So I'm going into the bootstrap node module, going into the dist directory, the CSS directory, and right here we've got the bootstrap.css file, which I'm referencing. Alright, so when we visit the app.view file, You'll notice that we are using a couple of bootstrap elements. We wrap our code in a container and we are using a card to show the login form. And also keep in mind that I'm using the bootstrap 4.0.0 beta version, as you can see right here. And in the card we have a form with three input fields. And in the card we have a form with three form groups. First one is for the email, the second one is for the password, and the third one is for the submit button. And when we submit the form, we are calling the login method and we are preventing any further action. As you can see, we bind the user.emailView model to the email address text input. The same is true for the user.passwordView model. And when we click the button, the form will be submitted and the login method will be called. Alright, so scroll to the JavaScript part of the app and you will notice the user object consisting of an email and password property. And when we scroll a bit down, we notice the methods object with the login method. And for now, we'll simply console.log the user object. So by using vModel, we are binding the view model to the input, meaning that if on one side the value changes, it will change everywhere. So when we take a look at the view dev tools and select the my app component and where we're changing the email to admin at test.com you'll notice that the data email property of the user object is changing as well same is true that if we are by any means changing this in the console so i'm going to use user.email will be info at test.com You'll notice that the, yeah, the input form has been changed and the, the email property of the user object has changed as well. And that's it. So now that we have learned how to create a simple form using Bootstrap and Vue, 